to an enduring union between our two great peoples, Hazad and Noldur. To the union. To the union. Before our wines ascend, Lord Durin, I should like to commend you. Khazad Doom has been called the quietest of dwarven kingdoms, but in recent months, your furnaces are said to be burning as bright as the eyes of Aule himself, your minds delving ever deeper. To what do you credit this new invigoration? I might task the same of Lyndon. Shipping off its warriors, expanding its cities. Bit southern for elves, no? <laughs> Typically takes you people weeks just to decide to take a ship. If I may, the hand of time crawls so slowly for our kind. We often overlook the years of effort we perceive as taking but a moment. In so doing, I would not wish to offend our guest. I would think our dwarven friend far too stout of heart to be offended by an honest inquiry. I have an honest inquiry for you. From where did you procure the table? Why do you ask? This stone grows only at certain depths. So rarely do our resonators locate a deposit. We consider each to be a precious gift. We reserve its use for the most sacred purposes. Monuments or tombs to our honored dead. Please forgive our sacrilege, Lord Durin. We shall have to send it home with you so it can be treated with the proper respect. It's good to know there's still some honor left among the elves. Your grace. To the union of our two peoples, then. To the union. 